traffic congestion, pollution, and daily economic loss are some of the effects of inadequate mass transportation in our country. The Philippines ranked 7 in terms of transport infrastructure in Southeast Asia, according to World Economic Forum in 2017. It further signifies how underdeveloped our current transportation systems are that causes sufferings for every Filipino commuters daily. But has it always been like this? If we will look back in history, the Philippines is actually one of the first countries in Asia that developed its mass transportation system in the form of streetcars, also known as Tranvia. The first Tranvia line was opened in December 1883 that serviced the areas of Malabon, Malate, Intramuros, Sampalo, and Tundo. Nine years ahead of Ferrocarril de Manila Dagupan, currently known as the Philippine National Railways. These lines served as the main mode of transportation that connected the residential areas of Tundo to the commercial and government centers of Binondo and Intramuros. The first electrified Tranvia line operated by Manila Electric Railroad and Light Company or Meralco opened in April 1905. It paved the way for the development of new lines in Pasay, San Juan, Makati, Pasig, and Taguig. In fact, we had more railway lines in 1936 compared to what we have today. In 1906, the total annual ridership of Tranvia lines amounted to 10 million passengers and it increased to 35 million passengers in 1925, an outstanding figure considering that the population of Manila at that time was estimated around 500,000. It shows that rail transportation has long been a part of Filipino culture and it can change the current situation of our transportation sector. Today, our country has only 129 kilometers of operational railway lines, one of the lowest in Southeast Asian region, considering that the Metro Manila area is regarded as one of the densest areas in the world. Rapid population growth and urbanization establishes the demand for new sustainable mass transportation. Hence, we would like to present the Seaside Railway Line, reviving the historical Tranvia lines of the Philippines using 21st century technology. Seaside Railway Line is a 15.3 km at grade railway system consisting of 14 stations that would run from PITX in the city of Paranaque up to Lawton in the city of Manila. It will utilize ART technology, a battery powered tram system that runs on rubber tires with an onboard fare collection system. Each train set can carry 300 to 500 passengers depending on car configuration designed to have little to no infrastructure requirement, making it one of the easiest mass transport solutions to implement. According to its running stock manufacturer, CRRC, by utilizing supercapacitor fast charging technology, it will only take 10 minute charge for a 25 km range. ART system does not also require construction of stations and viaduct superstructures, which reduces the structural damage that can be caused by natural calamities such as earthquakes. All of its crucial electrical components will also be located in the roof of the light rail vehicle, which protects it against floods during the rainy season. Additionally, at-grade railway line is also ideal for this system since most of the areas covered by our alignment is not susceptible to flooding. At Creed Railway System will ensure that this line will be accessible for everyone by eliminating the need for climbing up several story buildings just to write an LRT or MRT. This roads are created for the people, not for cars. Some of the future stations of Seaside Railway Line are PITX Station Moa Arena Station
SM Seaside Station. The Baywalk Station. Rizal Park Station. Intramuros Station This project will also serve certain areas of Maranate, Pasay, and the city of Manila its integration with PITX and the future Asia World Station of LRT1 will also ensure the seamless transfer of commuters. It will decongest Ross Boulevard and Pasay Bay Area, provide a better commuting experience, and will be a symbol of a modern Filipino transportation. It will also benefit other sectors such as tourism that would serve as a catalyst to the overall economic growth of the Bay Area. It is also integrated with present and future commercial complexes, which makes it ideal for public-private partnership. ART technology also requires little to no infrastructure that would cause traffic disturbances during its construction phase, making it much easier to implement and one of the simplest mass transport solutions available today. It will also be the first ART system in Southeast Asia, another first in the history of Philippine rail transportation. The Philippines is a beautiful country, known for its pristine nature, scenic coastlines, and beautiful beaches. We need to preserve this beauty by creating sustainable and livable cities for our country. This can be achieved by developing modern, efficient, convenient, and eco-friendly transportation. We already did it in the past. We can definitely do it today. Once again, this is a railway engineering project from Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Nagamitin ang karunan mula sa iyo. Para sa bayan!